Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, this is the oracle card spread here. I upload a new one every week. So even though it doesn't have a time stamp, oh, like a date on it anymore, um, I do upload a new one every week. So if you want to get them fresh off the press, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you ring that bell to get notifications so you know when I upload them. Okay, um, I always offer an extended reading, Aquarius, so you can get a, a, you have an opportunity to get a deeper, more personal, more gritty, more um, uh, reading that's with a full tarot, tarot card spread, and that also includes a romance reading as well. So that link is always below in the description box and in the comment section. Are you ready? This is Aquarius energy. This is an oracle card reading. It's not a horoscope. So this really can apply to wherever you have Aquarius vibing on your chart. If it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. You don't want to break that astrological wheel. But the bottom line is this could be Aquarius sun, moon, rising, but Mars, Venus, wherever Aquarius energy influences your chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so from whenever you're seeing the video. Let's just, let's just flow with it, Aquarius. Ooh. Big shift is happening in March. Saturn is entering Aquarius. Just basically a shift in people's perspectives. Instead of it being about all, it's still a bit about success. It's still about progress. But instead, it's 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 not it's not about me 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 me. It's about us 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 or them 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 them. Your crowning energy this week. White Raven spirit, trust in the magic, and now is a lucky time. You're multiplying your abundance and you're multiplying your newness. In other words, there's new opportunities here and a lot of new opportunities are about to flood your path. This is the energy, like crowning your energy. I don't know if you're on a different path or a different trajectory or you've started over recently, but this is about newness. Could be a new baby. You literally could be having multiple children, Aquarius. You could be becoming a parent. You could be, that fertility medicine could be working for you, but this is a very fertile time. Yes, it could be fertile, fertility, literal, but, but beyond that, Aquarius, this is fertility, um, this is just fertility in life, abundance in life, something multiplying new. Like I, I feel like it's just let's let's keep rolling. A lot of new opportunities are going to be coming in for you over the next couple of weeks. These are both my baby cards, though, so you better watch it. <laughs> Wrap it up, just so you know, because you're going to be majorly fertile over the next couple of weeks. Or at the very least, it's you getting stuff done. You're taking opportunities. If the opportunities are coming in, you're saying yes. It's almost the energy of yes, man, right? That you're taking the opportunities. You're just saying, um, I'm not, you're not even thinking about it. You're like, I'll try that. I'll try that. I'll try that. I'll try that. Making new connections. Try it. Like, it's almost like being renewed or getting a new sense of self, a new purpose in life or a new sense of, yeah, I'll try it because who knows where the abundance will be coming in, but there's lots coming in. You could be having multiples too. If you find out you're pregnant, you could be having multiple children, like twins, which usually happens, and I didn't realize this, it usually happens with women when they get older. Like you're much more likely to have multiples if you are older. I didn't realize that, but that's really interesting information. I don't know why I just had to share that with you, but I did. Oh, wow. This is definitely Aquarius energy. It's like, yeah, I'm supposed to be grounded, but I'm not. I'm going to just fly free. Freedom is yours. I feel like you're taking off. I feel like you're getting out of a relationship. You're getting out of a commitment. You're feeling that freedom. You're feeling that wind in your hair. There's a sensation of not caring where your direction is as long as you're getting the out of where you were. This has been a long time coming. Clear out the clutter. You're dropping the past. This is the energy of letting it go, of maturing. You've changed. 
You are not the person that you used to be. Remember, frogs start as tadpoles and they basically go, are, you know, are, are, are not victims, but they're, they're subject to the tides and the tidal changes. And the frog, he still hangs out in between the land and the water, but he's able to maneuver and decide where he wants to be. He can be in the water. He can jump out of the water. He has a lot more flexibility. Why? Because he's grown up. He's matured. This is Cancerian energy. You could be dropping a Cancerian or it could have nothing to do with cancer. It could just have to do with you're letting go of those things that like were tying you down. You're letting go of that baggage. You could be literally moving. You could be, you could be throwing out a lot of stuff, dumping it. Like this could be tangible things that you're actually letting go. If you're like sifting through things that you didn't need, or you're getting ready to prepare for a move, like you're definitely on the move. This is almost like just breaking through and moving forward. No, this is, this is your energy. This is like freedom. It's like feeling the wind in your hair and like almost feeling like you, you can fly. You're moving so fast. You're getting out of there. You're liberated. You've let go of a lot of junk that you were holding on to for a very long time. And a lot of newness is coming in. What? Probably these things are happening at the same time. Shh, bing. Why? Because you let go. Or you could have been waiting for these new opportunities to come in and a lot of opportunities are coming in and now you can let go of what you were hanging on to that wasn't serving you, but for some reason you were still hanging on to it. You are a fixed sign. You do like that sense of um, content continuity. You are. Um, so you, may, you might stay in a place for too long just to have a sense of continuity and a sense of, um, you know, like I'm okay, but you're letting it go. This is about, I mean, how many times can I say it? You have freedom is yours, clear out the clutter and time to let go. This is scorpionic energy, the energy of what runs beneath the surface. So this is emotional baggage you're letting go of, especially with Cancerian energy here and the full moon behind it. This is the energy of emotionally purging yourself of having the ability to not be caught up or, and I know it's almost like Aquarians don't feel. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay. Let's stop that right now. Or, or feeling like you're not responsible for somebody else's feelings anymore. If you were connected to somebody who was always tying you down or bringing you down or trying to tether you like zombie style, hold you in their grave. It's, it's, it's free. You're let you're releasing them. You could be breaking up with a Scorpio, letting them go. It could have nothing to do with Scorpio. It could have to do with Scorpio energy, which is just sort of transcending life and death, letting go of what was holding you down and killing you and, and stopping your progress and now taking that leap headlong into whatever is out there. And I don't, like I said, I don't necessarily think you need to know what else is out there. You just need the freedom. Like that's what you need and you're getting your freedom back. Uh, but there is abundance coming in for you. So there, there is new offers. I feel like as soon as these new offers come in, you're going to be like, foosh, uh, yes. I'm just going to run. It's almost like, yes, please. Uh-huh. Oh, no, I'll take it. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, no. Yep. You're not even going to like check to see if it's quality. You're just going to be like, yep. And then out of there. There's been something that you've been wanting to release and let go of. And this Cancer Scorpio energy right here is about emotions. It's about emotions that were creeping up. You could have been bogged down like everybody else was. This Mercury retrograde through Pisces. And now you're just finally feeling released. And you're not bogged down. You're not bogged down by your emotions anymore. You're not held, you're not held captive by them. Or, and this is what I'm hearing for you, you're not held captive by your perceived obligations anymore. I was looking up at my um, skylight, just so that you know. It's gonna be interesting to get your central energy since your uh, crowning energy is so like jam packed with abundance. This is just, it's like keeps coming out the other side. <laughs> You could be sneaking away. <laughs> I'm just saying, like sneaking away in the middle of the night. As, as like as soon as you hear that somebody loves you, you're leaving this old relationship. As soon as you hear like that you get another job, you're you're not even gonna like. 
give them notice, you're just gonna not show up. This is almost like sneaking out, sneaking out the back door. It was interesting because Capricorn got some Aquarius energy in it and they were like finding abundance, the back door to abundance. That's the title of their reading. But for you, it's almost like you're sneaking out the back door. I don't know if you're gonna run into a Capricorn, but it's almost like it, that's kind of like that shift from that Saturnian shift, <laughs> that energy of like Saturn leaving Capricorn, exiting and coming to you. So it's almost like you're not even asking for this abundance, but you needed it. This is more Cancerian energy. Slow down. This is your central energy. Feeling really good and really secure. So it, you, you're secure, okay? Fast. Flying out of there. Letting go of everything that was holding you back and holding you down. Not feeling obligated. Not feeling like you have a responsibility to them anymore. Like letting go of those, those darker feelings. Those feelings of obligation. Those things that put chains around your neck. You're done with that. You're done. And now you want to coast. It's almost like you... You don't have the devil at your back. You're rushing out of there, but you feel so good. You feel really secure. This is about like King of Cups energy of being supported, of actually people being happy that you made this decision. It's like, oh, finally, you're out of that because you were stuck. You were stagnant. There was something that was holding you back. There was something that was holding you up and now you're releasing it and you're letting go and you feel really good at just setting the pace for your own life. Slow and steady wins the race. This is not about, you're not focused on winning the race. You're just happy to be in the race, but you're in the race. It's like the, the guns have been fired and the horses have, have been released from the gates. You're on your way. Slow and steady wins the race. I don't know. There's a lot of Cancerian energy here. What I love about turtle is turtle feels really good about himself. This is sea turtle. This is not less necessarily regular turtle. This isn't land turtle. This isn't tortoise. This is sea turtle and sea turtle doesn't use his shell in a different way. He doesn't retract or retreat into the, its shell. It just uses it as part of itself. It's an extension of what it is. It feels comfortable in itself and it kind of like plays in the shallow water. It finds its food on the jellyfish. It's like swimming along and like loving life. And that's why they last so long. You're finding your direction. Oh, I just heard it. You're finally being released from something that you've been stuck in for a long time. And this is your card. Open to infinite possibility, starfish. You might've just been released from a contract. Some sort of contract it could be divorce. It could be a contract with business. This has to do with your public persona, right? Letting go, leaving something that you, that wasn't working for you, that was holding you back, leaving it in the past. And in doing that, why? Because you were offered this huge opportunity. You were offered this opportunity to shine. It's like, you got it. it a breakthrough came. There's lots of breakthroughs coming. I hope they're coming for Cancerians, but whatever, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> but I'm just saying major breakthrough for you guys but this is you this is your card this is you shining infinite possibilities are coming after you relinquish this thing this slow paced energy that you've been in this energy of like stagnation like idling 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 like and, and now it's life is speeding up and bam you're getting so many offers and so many opportunities Everybody wants you, Aquarius. And I think that could be why you just basically were able to let go of whatever you were clinging onto. This is an energy of five, a huge change, a huge change maybe in where you see opportunities coming. An opportunity like a, maybe even a career change, or like I said, finally released from a contract that was holding you down and really causing you a, a great deal of anxiety, making you feel obligated you didn't like that feeling, Ugh, feeling constantly obligated when you weren't even enjoying yourself, when you didn't even want to be there anymore. Now you're able to finally, you've been released from it. You're free. It's like when Prince got his name back, you know, like he had to be like, like form of the artist formerly known as Prince for a couple of years because uh, what, whatever record company he was signed to like owned his name. Um, but it's like finally being able to like be, f be liberated from that, free of that. And you can go back to just shining. 
Oh, why is this popping out? Uh, you see clearly now, this is your energy in reverse. What is this? You see clearly now. Uh, seven. I, I get it. It's like, it's like there's... I said it on the it, like in the beginning of the reading. You don't care which direction you're going. You're just happy to be free of what was holding you back. So no, you don't see the way clear. And no, this isn't even a decision based on wisdom or based on something that you learned or based on something that you studied and researched. Got nothing to do with that. You're literally going headlong into the, not abyss, but into the mist. Why? Because it feels good on your face for no other reason. But also, there's a lot of opportunities here that you didn't see coming. And that's what this card is telling me. This, it, these possibilities, these opportunities are going to start coming in out of nowhere. It's going to make you real happy and make your life light. You're going to be skipping, skip, skip, skip through the tulips. Like, you know, like tiptoeing through the tulips. This is you. Um, staying in the shallows, being light, being airy, a sense of lightness, lightening up your life, lightening up you being able to enjoy the day. It doesn't even necessarily need to be, even be about money or riches. It's just like you're, you're happy again. It's like you feel like yourself again, if that makes any sense for the first time in a long time. And it could just be you finding somebody to play with a little bit. Uh, this is scorpionic energy coming, energy of 10, of using your voice. Let it shine. Let your voice, let your opinion, let who you are shine out. Uh, find your direction and speak out. This is the time to really be very, very vocal this week. Don't hide yourself or don't hold back. This is your grounding energy of your opinion of who you are. How you present yourself is what is going to draw people's attention and draw in those opportunities to you um transformation is beautiful in your grounding energy but it's almost like but it's come out in reverse i don't understand that i'll figure it out um this is usually about being stuck um I get it. Opinions that you were stuck on are now changing. It 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 could be why it, it it could it could be why all of a sudden this freedom. Because it's like the way that you used to see things is changing. What you what you once believed to be true is like you're seeing it from a different perspective now. You could be actually finally seeing the truth about a situation. Like, oh, you're finding out information you didn't expect coming. You didn't see this coming. But you're finding out information that basically may seem like it's about to destroy your world. <laughs> it's, okay, I'm just going to give you this example. It's almost like you're in a long-term relationship, right? And you've been bored for years, but you had no excuse to let them go because, you know, they take good care of you, yada, 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 but you're kind of stuck and it's kind of stagnant. And now all of a sudden you find out that they cheat on you, that they've been cheating on you. And you're like, freedom. <laughs> it's like you found, it's, it's like, it's, I want to say bad news, but it's not bad news because it's news that lets you get out of a situation that you haven't wanted to be in for a long time. You know, it's almost like you signed a lease with your landlord and you end up hating where you live. But, um, and now you find out that there's like black mold growing in the walls and you're like, well, that's, that's your key. Now you, it's like, this is your way out. You're like, oh, I, you, you gotta give me back my security deposit. Guess what? You can't keep me here. I wasn't happy here to begin with. It's like, like finding that reason to leave a situation that you couldn't find a reason to leave and being so happy that you're finally out of there. You're not even thinking about where I'm heading, where I'm going. Yeah. Um, life is a mystery and you love it. This is an energy of the unknown creeping up on you. Yeah. Something that you didn't see coming, something coming out of the blue, something that's been there for a while, kind of like, like, like hovering. You might've felt it for a while, but it's like, it's like, it's finally coming to the surface. It's, it's like finally showing itself. It's finally revealing itself, a mystery coming to light. I love it. I just love it. This is like the time it was like timing had to happen this way. 
but you're finally being released from something that you didn't want to be a part of anyway. Hold on, I'm going to flip this around. I'm laughing because this is such happy energy. It's almost like you've been looking for this excuse out. It's like you found the tunnel out of prison. You found it. You you found that weak spot. You found the loophole. Something has been really like causing you a lot of tension anyway. And it's like you got it. You got your way out. You got your conduit. And new things are coming in. So crowning your energy is all these new opportunities. And maybe they were surrounding you, but you couldn't take them because you were contracted or you were stuck or something was making you stuck but now you're finally liberated you don't you don't have to be stuck anymore and your grounding energy is something being revealed it's like seeing something like detective work uncovering something that was backward or something that was hidden or something that wasn't right that opens up this loophole for you to just be like fly out of the gates and just go and leave and break through i'm going to continue this reading let's see where you guys are headed let's see like what is coming towards you we're going to pull a full tarot card spread that link is below and get prepared for romantic tarot as well I'll see you guys over there, Aquarius.